everyone, and welcome to another Cabin Entertainment video. It's Art here with a book review for the Sisters by Dervin McTiernan. Say that quickly. I bet you can't. Uh, this book is an Audible original. It only available on Audible. It was part of the monthly free uh, picks that I picked, just like Body Proof was. I enjoyed the book. It was from two different perspectives, from Irish sisters who are both in law. One is a police officer and one is a defense attorney in American terms. I think she's not a solicitor, she's a barrister in Irish terms. Uh, and here is my bookish buddy Willow to help me with the review. Yes, I know. Uh, I liked it. I liked that it was from both perspectives. Each chapter uh, was titled by whose perspective it was under. It's a good book, not a great book. It left me wanting more. It left me with an incomplete story. Um, it left me needing more. Now, what I will say it did well is it gripped me from the start. It took one legal case and a in family issues and took it from both sides that were presented both the sister who's the police officer and the sister who's the attorney and what is paramount to both these sisters is getting the law right and that was good to see by the way i am outside so any outside noises and outside happenings may indeed be happening what a leap I don't know if you guys caught that on the That was impressive. I don't care if it was not that long of a leap. It was impressive. Yes, it was impressive. Um, all things considered, though, it left me wanting more because it, it did the same tropish things that you expect in two women trying to make their way in the Male dominated law enforcement community. Not saying that tropes aren't good, but when you lean heavily into the tropes and they don't really get to persevere, that's a problem. Um, I do feel like there's more story to tell in this world. I feel like it is a vibrant, necessary world. I feel as though it's a, um, <coughs> excuse me, could be a, could be a very strong world in which to tell vibrant and impressive and important stories. But I feel like it was too short for its own good. It was only about three and a half hours long in audible format, which is a major, major issue. It laid the foundation for two great characters to run a series. It laid that foundation. It laid that foundation, but it didn't expand on that foundation. I thought Willow was going to knock the camera over there, but I guess not. Thank you, Willow, for going around. Appreciate it. It laid the foundation for what could be great. But it didn't expand on it. It didn't... Letting the FedEx truck pass again. It didn't expand on it. It didn't develop it enough. Um, it was too fast-paced for its own good. I want to see more. These are two characters I'm... In, 
I'm definitely engrossed in and engaged with. They definitely piqued my interest. I just didn't get enough. I didn't have enough of an interaction with them for me to care all that much. So that is my major issue with the book. That is why uh, I thought the narrator was amazing. Uh, her name was Aoife Albertson, I want to say. Her first name was Aoife. Let me look it up here real quick. But I felt like the book was a good book. Narrated by Aoife. was amazing taking on two voices for the two sisters while making them distinctly different keeping them the same I like the audible original productions I like what went on in that case and in that um, situation but in the situation of I think The Sisters is a great read. It's a decent read. It's a decent listen. It's definitely worth your time, especially if you're an Audible member, because it's free to you uh, for the next couple days. Well, when this goes out, it, it won't be free anymore. But it was free in the month of September all the way up to, up to October 4th. Um, great read, great book. But it will not last long, so at least it's free. Uh, if I had to give it a rating on Goodreads, it's 3 out of 5. Because it's distinctly average in some areas and below average in some areas. And in other areas, it's above average and better than normal. I enjoyed it immensely, enjoyed it greatly, and I thought it was an amazing, amazing read in some parts. And in some parts, it fell flat. There's no other way I can put around it. So what I would say on my own scale is a read it. If it interests you, you can skip it. It is skippable. Uh, I just picked it as one of my uh, Audible Originals monthly free picks. And to me, it was worth it. Both the Audible Original monthly free picks, both Body and Proof, and The Sisters were both worth it, in my opinion. Especially because they had my favorite book. Price tag of free. So, without further ado, oh, leave in the comments down below what Audible originals you've checked out. If you have Audible, if you checked out the Sisters or Body of Proof, let me know that in the comments down below. And we can have a discussion on what you thought of the books, or point me to your video, and I can watch your video. I'd be glad to do that to get another perspective on those Audible originals. But without further ado, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the no notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. If YouTube is working that day, that is entirely up to YouTube, as I say every time. Because who knows if YouTube works. Uh, analytics sometimes say it is, and analytics sometimes say it isn't. But without further ado... Happy listening, everybody. Happy reading. I'll see you again soon. And peace.